Okay. In Hosturg, India, a 21-year-old queer student dies in Goa. Um, homophobia triggered her suicide, said friends. Um, roughly a month before her death by hanging, Anjana Harish, a 21-year-old openly bisexual student, posted a video to Facebook detailing the abuse she suffered from her family in an attempt to, quote, cure her bisexuality. She described solitary confinement in a cell at a mental health center under the guise of conversion therapy and the dizzying side effects of the medication she was made to take. Her friends point to the pervasive homophobia in her household as a major factor in her death. Jesus Christ. Wait, Shobham, this is what you have to deal with as well. Yeah, I, she had it a lot worse because they actively went for conversion therapy. I mean... In my case, it was kind of the case because the psychologist I went to, I had to go to was like shit and stuff and made me feel bad about myself. But yeah, she actually had to go to like the all the quacks and everyone for conversion therapy. And they, I mean, yeah, my family also believes they can cure me and some other things, but I think she had it worse than me. I right. would say. But is this what is this a cultural problem in India or is it a religious problem? Can we okay, is it right. unique? Right. Right. Okay, so it's actually a bit long. Um first of all, like homosexuality was officially criminalized during the colonial times because of Christianity and stuff. The it was just it was once decriminalized back in 2009 in India. Uh, but then again, they retracted the statement in 2012. So everyone who came out suddenly became criminals. After Wait, three so, years. sorry, what is it about colonial attitude? What you're saying this is because what? Like, I mean, uh, during the colonial times, the British, they imposed the ban, like the Indian Penal Code, they made it so that homosexuality is illegal. I mean, they right, don't right. mention homosexuality, they mention a natural. Uh, is sex uh, like anything like uh, anal sex or oral sex or stuff like that? Right. So, so, so this yeah. is one thing that the Hindu apologists are correct about. Like we we usually don't say this on this channel, but the whole the Islamic Empire and the British Empire are responsible for spreading this type of intolerance more okay. than Hinduism. No. no. Uh, no? They are wrong about it. Yeah, I would say no, because okay. there are, okay, so I, I'm coming to the Hinduism part a bit later. Okay, so it's true that the Muslim uh, period and the British period, they really imposed homophobia in the society, and that's still continuing to this day. But right. in Hinduism, there are lots of homophobic verses. Okay? Right. And, and, I mean, yes, there are, like, uh, I mean, okay, Hinduism does recognize more than two genders and stuff and everything. That's fine. But when it comes to homosexuality, they're just mentioned in stories. They're just condoned, like, in some stories. From uh, All we know is that homosexuality was recognized by Indians, by Hindus back in the day, but it was not approved of. Okay, right. They yeah, okay, so we do have some homophobic content in hinduism right but they would but they're never that influential in making hindus homophobic i mean even I mean, though it's there i we could say the main source of india becoming such so homophobic was because of the islamic empire's influence and the british empire's influence that would be fair to say. I'm just trying I, to be fair to, to okay, see if I, I think I think that is possible because I mean I'm not like I'm not a historian. I just do it as right. hobbies and stuff. But from what I see in this Indian society today, like assuming it was similar back in the day, people just don't recognize it. May people just right. think oh yeah, it's not possible. It's completely unnatural, not at all possible and stuff. And uh, so, I mean, it's just during, it's probably during the Mughal and British times when they think, oh, okay, this happens, but this is bullshit. We need to criminalize it. We need to punish people for this stuff. 
I think right. it is possible, but I wanted to say like there are verses in Hindu texts which are like really, really homophobic. For example, I want to I want to mention two verses from Manusmriti. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Manusmriti is like the kind of the Sharia in it, uh, of Hinduism. Okay, and the okay, so just let me mention it's Manusmriti chapter eight, uh, verse three sixty nine. A damsel who pollutes another damsel must be fined 200 panas, pay the double of her nuptial fee, and receive 10 lashes with a rod. And the, uh, Wait, the what's next. A dam what's a, what's a, what? A, a damsel. 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 Oh, damsel. A virgin unmarried woman. Oh. Who pollutes another virgin unmarried woman. Oh, so this is an anti adultery. And it's anti lesbian. Oh, it's also Elizabeth. Yeah, both both are unmarried, okay. and and the next verse is for if uh, the one who pollutes is a, is a woman, like she's not a damsel, not a young unmarried virgin woman, I guess. And it's uh, for her. It says, but a woman who pollutes the damsel shall instantly have her head shaved or two fingers cut off and be made to ride throughout the town on a donkey. Wait, or that seems like two completely different ex punishment. Oh, you're gonna shave your head, like oh my god, that's abusive. Or cut off your fingers, like what? That's two. Like who decides which one of these? Like that's okay. The that's problem. extreme. The it's like like oh, we're either gonna give you a fine or burn you alive. Like like what? The, that's two. Like they're not even comparable. Like they're not even at the same level. How is that? Yeah. Who wrote this? It's completely stuff? Brahminical. <laughs> Brahmin is it's completely. I mean, they decide the Brahmin men. They decided everything in Hinduism. Mm. I mean, this is just one thing. Like there are several other verses. Like there's a, a verse in Garuda Purana which says like if uh, if someone, I mean, usually a man, gets oral sex uh, done to him, then he will go to hell, which is full of semen, and he will drown in semen, bringing wow. death. And, and as soon as he dies in that hill, he will be reborn again and drown again in semen. In semen? Where are they getting all this? <laughs> it's the hell in this, okay? It's the, the hell. hell. It's one of the hells in this. It's just an ocean, ocean of semen. Hindu's hell. I mean, that shit is great for your skin, I heard. So. <laughs> That's just some bullshit the men say. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> um, but, uh, wait, okay. So the first one was lesbians get, uh, you know, flogged, right? And then the second one was lesbians again. The second one was yeah, lesbians. Yeah. Lesbians would get woman. shave your head or cut fingers off um, and and this last one was men who commit gay sex. Is that like oral gay sex? That was the third one. I mean, anyone get any man who gets oral a blowjob. Who gets a blowjob? Any man who gets a blowjob from yeah. anybody? I am man so or this, woman is oh, man. so this is adultery. Okay. Gets drowned in semen. Okay. I mean, technically, if I'm being drowned, I don't really care what I mean. The fact that I'm being drowned seems to be the main concern rather than what i'm being drowned in isn't that i don't understand like these people must have been so disgusted by semen they were like you're being drowned in semen like <laughs> I mean, like that is the highlight for them not i mean, not the drowning. All, I mean <laughs> they, there are also verses in there where it says like uh, yeah uh, when you semen anywhere outside a woman's vagina is punishable <laughs> I mean, they even have a term for anything outside a woman's vagina. Yeah, that's not that uncommon. Mm. Yeah, it's actually in the Old Testament as well. Did it somebody is. get killed for actually like coming on the ground and God was like, yeah, we don't, yeah. We're not, that's not allowed. I mean, right? In Hinduism, it's like completely, there are verses which contradict these verses because there are stories where gods do these things. Right, like yeah, there was a story where like Vishnu and Shiva, the two of the top deities in Hinduism, 
Uh, there are uh, two of the three top deities in Hinduism, and there was this time when Vishnu turned into a woman, and Shiva got really <laughs> attracted to that form, and so he asked Vishnu that, "Hey, uh, will you turn into that woman again? I want to see it for myself." And he turned <laughs> it again, yes. <laughs> and Shiva's wife was feeling so embarrassed that she hanged her head or something <laughs> because she what saw. What the her. hell? This took so many different twists and turns. <laughs> Wait, who was telling Shiva like who was telling Shiva that this is like a Black Mirror episode where two friends like one of them turns into a girl and they become so attracted to each, to each other. I like, can you go back to being a girl? You were so hot. I want to fuck you. No, this is like literally the plot of an anime. There's a whole sub sub genre of gender bender animes that people are like very. Uh, yeah. So Isn't this pro trans? Uh, wait, tell, okay, so who who got attracted to who when they turned into a woman? She would turn into a woman. Who was attracted to no, her? Vishnu, Vishnu uh, turned into a woman and she got attracted to her. Oh, okay, and then somebody committed suicide because they were embarrassed? Uh, she, she was his wife because she thought <laughs> my husband's chasing a man who turned into a woman. <laughs> 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 she was like, this is too messed up. I, I, I can't take this anymore. Vishnu's female form and Shiva even had a child who is worshipped to this day. Oh, Interesting. The... Wait, is it can this be seen like as pro-trans or the suicide yeah, makes that, this not yeah, there are pro-trans versus an Hinduism. I don't I will admit right. there there are like there are gods who just be, uh, change their sex often, very often, whenever they want and stuff. Even like many, many heroes and gods in Hindu mythology have changed their sexes and some things. Why like are that. these not turned into Hollywood movies? Like this is <laughs> like this shit needs to be turned at least into some form of anime or something. This is you know, prime they, anime material. They have, they have an anime for Ramayana, <laughs> but it's not like. That I need did. like another, another like a one, not one that make for the kids and like make cute and stuff for the kids to learn about Hinduism. I want like some dark shit, like some like turn the Hindu gods into like all the brutality and of it, like you know, visually show all of that. You know, I want like I, when Ganesh has been cut off, like show all of that, and like when he goes and takes an elephant and cuts his head off, like that's some dark shit. That's that would sell. I mean, if it's technically true to the books, the Hindus can't even get mad at that because, like, well, this is in the books, right? They made, but you could get so, a lot of. Uh, I mean, think about it. You have like a billion people that believe in this shit. If you turn, like, isn't that going to be profitable, or is it too scary to touch because you might offend the army of people that will come after you? Like, I don't know. But I think like this is an opportunity that a lot of people. I mean, I would go watch. Right? Yeah, I think... when dec uh, decriminalizing homosexuality, I mean, the lawyer who was pro, I mean, who was against that stuff in the penal code, he literally said there were. Uh, he literally, I think, quoted some of the verses from Hinduism and said, "Yes, yeah, see, the religion is not." <laughs> Uh, has versus supporting it, so you should decriminalize homosexuality already. But by, by the way, we guys look at what we're doing. We turned into a suicide story into like, and like, like, yeah, like we're like, oh, forget, it. like who cares about the student who killed oh, herself? No. Like, well, you, oh, I, I care. The, <laughs> no, like we're like, where's the movies and the anime? Like we completely got distracted. Um, oh, yeah, I, I yeah, wanted yeah. to make another thing, like. Yeah, so there's another thing in Hinduism, like the five products of cow. And there are verses in Hinduism which say that if a man engages in homosexual activity, he should eat uh, this thing, the mixture of these five products, which are cow urine, cow dung, milk, and ghee and curd, which are basically dairy products. Mm -hmm. So he has to eat the mixture of these five to purify him. All right, so on Facebook, Jason is saying about the, the girl that it was a girl, yes, she it was a girl, right? Whatever, uh, I don't care. Um, the person that the student that committed suicide, Jason is saying she made her own decision, be it lucid or not. Stop blaming other people for shit you do. Um, 
So she's she's saying that it's her fault that she committed suicide. Yeah, Don't it's, blame it's other people. thing in India, like whoever commits suicide are blamed. Always, almost always blamed. They are termed as selfish and stuff. And like they're it's so like it's I mean, I mean anyone who commits suicide it was obviously going through mental trauma and everything. And I just feel sorry for them and that the society just blames the victims. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do, do we even need to point out why Jason is wrong? I mean, it's so obvious. I just wanted to read because that was the top comment. It's the top comment, not because people like it. It got like it's the top comment because of all the angry reaction they got. Yeah. Uh, Torsten is saying conversion therapy is completely bogus. It's not scientifically founded and. I think it's frankly like a violation of human rights. Like it's not a pathology. It's not something that needs to be fixed and it causes serious harm to the people who are forced to go through this. There's some people who choose it voluntarily as adults. And even that I think is harmful and should probably not be allowed because it's not based in reality, but that's a whole different subject. Tristan is saying, I would donate my organs first before I commit suicide. There are people suffering and waiting for organs. I would not be so selfish to waste my organs if I wanted to die anyways. These people what? have weird, weird takes on this. Uh, okay. What are you supposed to do? Go, like, let a hospital know beforehand? Like, oh, I'm going to... What? <laughs> I mean, you're talking about somebody that is so mentally in such a situation that he just wants to quit and, you know... These are not so weird. So weird people think like this. Like, yeah, this person is experiencing some traumatic experiences and they need help. Um, and you have like some standards that doesn't apply to the, you know, doesn't, it, the conditions that they're in. It's just so weird. I don't know. Like, you, you're not, you don't understand how tough it could be for some people. And it, yeah, it, go ahead. it's really tough. I mean, in India, because, Okay, so comparing to the West, in West, I mean, yes, there are conservative places, but many parts in the Western countries are like accepting by now of homosexuality and even transgender people in many uh, places. But in India, like the wider society is still homophobic and transphobic and people are like pressured from their families to get cured and stuff because they will lose reputation in the society. And they just don't want to do that. And children, when they hear that, their family cares more about their reputation in the freaking society than their children. It's it causes them even more mental pressure and stuff. And yeah, I mean, imagine if you're like you born in a society and everybody's everybody and everything seems to be against you and hate you for who you are, and then you're like, fuck this shit, I'm out, fuck all of you, fuck everything, fuck the world, and you're like. Oh, do you mind contributing something to the world before you leave? I like no, this is my fuck you to the world. What are you talking about, right? So like, they're not. Yeah. It's, by the way, I hope I. Didn't I don't even anything. necessarily think it's a fuck you. I mean, as someone who has right. survived a suicide attempt, like it's typically because that person's brain is in such a chemically unbalanced state that they literally believe that there is no other way to achieve relief from the hell that is inside their head besides this one option yeah uh, yeah i mean take the it's different from every person right like yeah yeah all right so wow uh, Sh your background again you seem like you're in an effort but it's fine because that was our last news um, okay, I, I, okay okay i think i should point this out the uh, the perspective of the Hindu nationalist on the topic of homosexuality, because That's I think good. we, yes, okay, yes, so yes. I mean, when it was like being debated in the Supreme Court if homosexuality should be decriminalized or not, there was a high ranking official from the RSS, which is like an, an organization, a, a very Hindu nationalist organization in India. I often uh, compare them to the KKK, but I think. Yeah, I, I would compare them to the KKK. But yeah, so they were, what they were saying was like, okay, so homosexuality should not be illegal, but it is still unnatural and it is still like not 
good and everything. But it should not be illegal. Like it should not be a criminal offense. That's what the like, BJP says. The Hindu nationalists that's saying. That's saying. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're one just hierarchy. being an anti-Hindu bigot, Shabham. You're being an anti-Hindu bigot. That's just admit it. Just just admit it. Okay, just accept that. I, I right. am a communist spy. Okay, I'm a communist spy here to spread leftist <laughs> propaganda. Yes, you're. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, that was it. Susanna, did you want to add anything? No. All right, good. All right, good. Okay, this is fun. Thank you, guys, in the live chat. Thank you for to John, AKL, Adam, Jeffrey on Facebook, Hot Shutter three thousand, Angel Rose, everybody else. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, like it's Quran four thirty four, and all the other things. Um, hit the notification bell. I mean, seriously, if you what the hell are you doing if you if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel? Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, why? Why? Just if you don't want to subscribe, just explain in the comments. Uh, see, I'm tricking you because if I'm just trying to make you, well, you leave a comment. Now you're just telling on yourself, Armin. Okay, sorry. You fucked up okay, your just, plan. Yeah, I, if you hate us. Uh, it's just let us know why our channel is bad. I hate that. Okay, I hate that. It's so it's so horrible. Just comment. Mm -hmm. Just let us know. Mm -hmm. Just in, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Love you guys. Bye. And see you again next week. Bye bye. 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 News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So